top five Tarantino music needle drops. Top five Tarantino needle drops. That sounds better. What's your number five? My number five is You Can Never Tell by Chuck Berry in Pulp Fiction from the twist scene. Yep. I fucking love Chuck Berry and the fact that they've got him in there. And for that, it's so great. I think everyone knows that Chuck Berry song, right? It's a very popular one. Obviously, he has a great catalog, but that that just sticks with you. And I love that scene. I love the the whole background in that dance scene is just great. So that song always sticks with me and really uh, stands out. What's yours? Uh, my number five, but it's Strawberry Letter 23 from the Brothers Johnson. Uh, from Jackie Brown. Okay. As soon as he, uh, Sam Jackson shoots Chris Tucker in the trunk, he gets back in his car, and that's the song on the radio. Mm, nice. And I just fucking love the way it fits with the vibe, you know, just like. My uh, number four is There Won't Be Many Coming Home by Roy Orbison from The Hateful Eight. Yeah, that's a good one. I love Roy Orbison in general. So I just love how Quentin's able to throw like all these old classic rock and roll songs and oldies, I guess, technically, if you want to go for the titling correctly of it, but it is able to like put these things in here and really give them some good yeah, scenery watched- around. Kind of re- He's able to renew the music by the scenes he puts it in. Yeah, I watched Hateful Eight uh, this week as well, actually. Oh, yeah, that's a great one. My number four is uh, from. Inglorious Bastards. David Bowie's Cat People. Hell yeah, that's a good one. Which is also in The Cat People. Yes, it is. That's a reused one, but uh, it's David Bowie. So (laughs) how the fuck are you going to argue that? For my number three, I go to Django Unchained. The song is Unchained by James Brown and Tupac. God damn, that song fucking hits. My number three is Bang Bang from Kill Bill by Nancy Sinatra. I would agree with that one. That's great, you know, because that's my number two, actually. It's iconic as hell. It opens up the movie. And I like Nancy Sinatra quite a bit. So when it's in there twice, it's also at Hanzo's bar. You know, I had an honorable mention from Kill Bill. I'm just going to throw it out there real quick because I, I I could pretty much tell you it's not going to be your two or one, but it's a woohoo by the five, six, seven, eights. But that song got ruined for me to some degree because it was heavily used in a fucking, some sort of like, phone commercial advertising and i was like god damn it i always want to think of kill bill when i hear that because it's such a fun simple tune but my number two is uh little green bag the george baker selection fucking rules hell yeah it's the opening credit sequence uh, music from reservoir dogs yeah that was uh, i listened to that quite frequently and my number two uh, my number one is from reservoir dogs it's stuck in the middle with you by steeler's wheel um, during the cop torture scene, it's fucking so good. Like he's dancing around while fucking torturing this cop. Yeah. I mean, you're taking like an uplifting, fun song. You know, it feels like a feels real good, feel good pop song type. And so fucked up the scene in the imagery going on around it. You're like, God damn. Well, my number one is uh, from something we just talked about. Hell yeah. Writer by the Lively Ones, which is the ending sequence music for Pulp Fiction. Yeah, that's a great man. He starts playing, and when they're about to like tuck their guns in and walk out of there, the diner just rules. He's got such an iconic choice for a lot of the guitar licks and things like that, right? You'll notice a lot of the guitars have this certain like twang, reverb, vibrato, like that. You'll kind of just notice that they're surf bands. Yeah, and And that's the thing is Tarantino used a lot of surf music in this because he thought surf music sounded a lot like spaghetti western music. And it kind of does. It has that vibe. So it's in the same alley, right? You could easily change the music just a little bit to get those vibes. Let us know what your top five drops are from Tarantino's films. There's a lot to choose from out there. So yeah. comment below. Make sure you subscribe and like if you haven't already. 